गाइस वेलकम टू अलगोरिदम्स मेड इजी आई एम खुशबू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्वेश्चन बाइनरी ट्री कैमरास गिवन अ बाइनरी ट्री वी इंस्टॉल कैमरास ऑन नोड ऑफ दैट ट्री ईच कैमरा एट अ नोड कैन मॉनिटर इट्स पेरेंट itself and its immediate children calculate the minimum number of cameras needed to monitor all the nodes of the tree so here we are given a few examples in the example 1 if we place the camera in the middle node it would be able to monitor both its children and parent and so with a single camera we can monitor the whole tree in the second example we would need two cameras to monitor all the nodes The note attached with this question says that the number of nodes would be in the range of 1 to 1000 and every node has a value of 0. So we are not considering the values of the nodes over here. We only need to know where we want to place the camera so that all the nodes can be covered. So let's see how we can solve this question. So let's take this tree considering that all the nodes have value as 0. Now let's start from the top and see how many cameras would be required. If we start from top we know that the parent is going to be covered so we don't put the camera in the parent but we'll put it in the lower nodes so over here we put both the cameras and so these nodes are covered after that these are uncovered so we'll put the camera over here and so in this case we are going to need five cameras but is this optimized we can see that we have added cameras in all the lower levels and in a tree we know that As we go deeper into the tree the nodes start increasing we have one node in the root then two and then it would be four nodes and so on in a case of complete binary tree so we need to avoid adding cameras to our leaf nodes and so what we are going to do is we are going to start from the bottom so let's see what happens if we start from bottom in this particular case so let's put the cameras in the second last level and over here we can see that the leaf nodes would be covered with that and the parent of that particular node would also be covered with this camera and with this two cameras we see that we are covering a large range of nodes now we are left with only two nodes and so we can cover these nodes by adding one more camera we can either add a camera at the root or at this leaf level over here so now you see that instead of 5 we are only using 3 cameras when we started from the lowest level and that's the intuition behind this particular problem that we need to start from the lowest level to reduce the number of cameras that we would require by not adding the camera at the leaf level which have the tendency of having the highest number of nodes now that we know that we are going to start from the bottom let's see how we are going to start So let's take this particular tree and start from the bottom. So we are adding this camera for this particular node which is covering the child and the parent. So we need to store somewhere that what are the nodes that are being covered by the camera that I have added because I do not want those nodes to be covered again. That is I can ignore those nodes in my further traversal. And so with this information I can minimize the number of cameras that I would need. Now that I have these nodes covered I'll add a camera over here to cover this particular node which was uncovered by the camera which is already covering its parent node so there is no chance this node could ever be covered if I am not adding a camera over here so this node would also cover this parent node too but that is already covered so we need a data structure which would store the unique values to mark our covered nodes now going further above we know that we have these two nodes left so i am adding a camera over here to cover its child and since it does not have a parent that means this was the last node that we needed to cover and now that we have covered all the nodes i can count how many cameras i have added in this process which is 3 so let's try to code this particular approach out wherein we'll go from bottom to top and keep on adding the cameras wherever needed and store all the covered nodes in a data structure that stores a unique value so over here first thing that we need is the count of cameras and the second thing that we need is a data structure to store all the covered nodes and that data structure should store unique values so we'll take a set of tree node now let's initialize these data structures initial count would be 0 and this would be new hash set 
now what i need to do is call the dfs function so i'll call dfs on my root node and its parent being null now why do i need the parent over here i need the parent because i need to cover the parent of that particular node while adding a camera to it so in that case i need to know who was the parent for this particular node and so i'll mark parent of the root as null because it does not have any parent finally just return the cameras over here we can add an initial condition that if my root itself is null i can return zero because i do not need cameras in that case because i do not have any node in my tree now let's write the dfs function it would be a void function and it is going to take the node and its parent over here i'll check if my node is null if it is null i do not need to do anything but if it is not null then and only then i'll be processing the node if the node is not null i am going to go deeper in that tree because i want to start from the very end of the tree so i'll call dfs on left with node as the parent and on its right with node as the parent once i have done this i am on the bottom most node now i need to check whether i need to add a camera over here so that would only be possible if the parent is null and this particular node is not covered so that condition would be if parent is null and my node is uncovered or if any of its left or right are not covered so this is the condition wherein i'll be adding the camera so let's write this so this is the case when we'll encounter the root of the tree which is not covered and the other case is that either of its left or right child are not covered so we need to add the camera over here to cover its left and right now what happens over here with our code is that when we go to the deepest node its child nodes would not be covered because it would not contain the child nodes for the leaf that is the null nodes in the hash set and so we need to add that in my set so i'll do covered dot add null so that i can add the children of my leaf nodes into the covered category so now this code would not go and add the cameras on the leaf node but would start from one level above the leaf nodes now in this case i need to add a camera so i'll increase the count of it and i'll add all of its parent and children into the covered hash set so i'll add the node i'll add its parent i'll add its left and right child and that's it and this would be and it's giving a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted the time complexity over here would be o of n because we are going to go to each and every node and the space complexity would also be o of n because we are taking a set to store all the covered nodes and the maximum nodes that the cameras would cover is the entire tree now let's see if we can do this without using the set so in a tree at a time you can have one of the three states that is either it is not covered by the camera either it has a camera or either it is covered with a camera but does not have a camera itself for that particular node so these three states can be returned and can be used to find whether i need to put a camera or not for that particular node so let's see how we can do this and we'll try to understand the code itself while doing it the only thing that we need to remember over here is the three states so i'll be marking the states as 0 1 and 2 two wherein i have the camera one wherein the node is covered with the camera and zero wherein the node is not covered so i'll still need a variable which would store the number of cameras that i am installing and i'll need a dfs function and over here i am going to return the state of that particular node and i'll take the tree node now if the node is equal to null which is 
going to happen for the child node of the leaf node i am going to return that it is covered by my camera so let's quickly write down what are the states meaning so two means has camera one would depict that it is covered with the camera and zero means no camera is covering this node so over here in this null case i am going to say that this node is covered by the camera because i don't want to start with the leaf node now since i want to go to the bottom i'll take dfs of node dot left and dfs of node dot right and since it is returning a value i'll take it in left and right now i need to check whether i want to add a camera or not the camera will only be added if my left has returned 0 or my right has returned 0 that is these are not getting covered by the camera so i'll add a camera over here so that my child are covered with this camera and so i'll do a cam plus plus to add the count in it and i'll return 2 because i have added the camera over here and this node now has a camera otherwise if any of my children node has a camera it means that my current node is covered with the camera and so i'll be returning 1 in that particular case and so i'll write if left has a camera or right has a camera then i can return 1 because this particular node is covered with the camera or otherwise i can return 0 because this wasn't covered with the camera over here i'll be calling dfs on my root node and since it is returning something let's take it in a variable calling it as answer for now now what can i get into answer i can get either a 0 1 or 2 that is whether my root was covered with the cameras that i have attached in the tree what if the root was covered in that case i can simply return the number of cameras that i have added for the tree and what if the root wasn't covered in that case i need to add a camera over here so i'll return camera plus 1 so we'll be returning if answer is equal to 0 in that case cam plus 1 or else cam itself so i can simply write dfs of root instead of this answer and this will be going so that's it let's try to run this code and it's giving a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted the time complexity over here still remains o of n because we are going to cover all the nodes and the space complexity for this particular problem would be equal to the height of the tree to store the recursion stack for the call of dfs function so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one so till then keep learning keep coding